Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you see in today's DIY, we are going to be decorating some of these clear ornaments from Dollar Tree. So let's get to it. And the very first one I'll be using this chunky glitter. Some of these branches from Dollar Tree and some bling wrap from Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is cut the tag off of course. Remove the top. And then we're going to cut some branches. Now what we're going to do is put the branches on the inside. So we don't want them to be too long. This one should work. Let's give it a try. Okay, there's one. And you want to try and use the ones with lots of branches. And you want to spread them apart from each other. So what you want to do is put your finger in and spread them apart. And I think this could probably use one or two more. Okay, once you get them situated inside, just take your glitter and pour some in. You don't want that much. Just a small amount of glitter. Kind of get it to move around on the inside of the ornament. Then take some adhesive. I'm using some Fix All from Dollar Tree and just put it around. And then pop the cap back on. And then press this to make sure that it makes contact with the glue. Now I'm going to take three rolls of my Dollar Tree bling and put it right around the cap. And I'm going to use my hot glue gun to do that. And here's our very first ornament. For our next ornament, I'm going to use this blank, and I picked it up from Amazon.com, and I'll be sure to link it in the description below. So what you want to do is come in, measure right around the center, and then cut. Now what I'm going to do is cut this in half. So now I'm going to glue this right around the center. And I'm going to use some hot glue. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Next up, I have this napkin ring from TotallyDazzle.com. So what I want to do is remove this piece off the ring. So it should pop off just like that. So now I'm going to take the brooch and put it where these two pieces meet, right here. And hold it down. And while you're holding it down, go ahead and reinforce it with some more hot glue. Okay, and let that set up. So now I'm going to take some of these acrylic diamonds from Dollar Tree and put a few right inside. You don't want to make it too heavy. And I also have some of these diamonds from Michaels. So again, I'm going to take my Fix All glue, put it around the top, and glue this back on. I have some of this blink from Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is just cut it into three rows and then glue it around the top. Okay, moving right along to the next one. Here I have some mirror tiles. And what I want to do is cut individual strips of the mirror tile. And I think I have some in here already. Yeah. 
So what I want to do is take some individual strips and glue them to the ornament. So again, we'll take this off. Okay, so I have my individual strips of mirror. So what I want to do is glue it down to the bottom like that. I'm going to start right here on this line. Like that. Okay, here's what it looks like. So now I'm going to add some crushed glass to my ornament. In order to do that, I'm going to use some Mod Podge and some crushed glass. You can find this at Michael's or Amazon, and I'll link it below in the description. So I'm just going to pour some in here. I have this brush, and I'm going to take a smaller brush so that I can get in here. I'm going to take my Mod Podge, put it on the brush, and go to work. So now you just take your crushed glass, put it right on top of the Mod Podge. And that's what it looks like so far. Now I'll come back in and fill in those spaces that need more crisp glass. I'll remove the glass from the mirror tiles and let the Mod Podge dry. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to dry, let's go on to the next one. I have this left over from a previous DIY, so I'm going to use it. I have some little metal pieces right here I need to clip off. So what I want to do is just measure from the top. And I'm going to go in at an angle, like so. I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. It's pretty easy to cut as long as you have some of these. So what I'm going to do is take some hot glue and glue this to the top. And I'm gluing this at an angle. Now I'm going to go around and then glue this. So now I'm going to curve it and add some glue right underneath the curve. I'm just going to do drops of glue. I'll go around and do the same thing for this one. Finally this one. And this is what we have so far. And that's what we have so far. And I have some glue webs that I need to clean off. So now I'm going to take some of these pearls from Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to add some diamonds. Of course I had to do diamonds and pearls, guys. Shake them around and see how you like it. I think I need to add some more diamonds. And I think I want to add just a few of these flakes. Just to make it more festive. Now again, add more fix all. Here I have some flat back pearls. And I'm just going to glue some right around the top. Okay, off camera I went ahead and filled in the spaces on all but one. Here you can see those openings that I was talking about. Now I'll fill those in. So what I'm going to do is just take some Mod Podge and fill in those spaces. So now I'll go back in with more glass and just pack those in place. Okay, so now I'm done. 
I'll let this dry, come back in, and seal the glass in place with some hair. Okay, the second coat of my Podge and glass is completely dry. Now I'll go ahead and seal the glass in place with hairspray. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and put the top on here. So now I'm gonna take two rolls of my mirror towel and put it around here. But before I do that, I'm gonna ask Fix All to make sure that it stays in place. So now I'm gonna take this hairspray from Dollar Tree and seal the glass onto the ornament. Again, once the hairspray dries, I'll come back in and clean the mirror towels. Okay, finally, I have some of this adhesive bling that I love so much. Naturally, I wanna do an ornament with this as well. And so I want this kind of thick, so I'm just gonna cut a few rolls. So this is actually 11 rows. So it's going to remove the back and put this right in the middle. And for this one, I took two strips of the mirror towel, cut it, and I'm going to put it on each side. Just like that. So I'm gonna go off camera and put another one on the top. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my mirror towel again. This time I'm going to fold two rows and then cut. Now I'm gonna take four of the tiles and then we have a diamond shape. So I'm going to remove the back like that and I'm going to come to the back and put a diamond right in the back. I'm going to take another diamond, which is four tiles. Now I'm going to put one directly in front. Just like that. Four more tiles. This is going to be in the middle, right on each side, like that. I think I'm going to go ahead and use a fix all on that, just to make sure they stay in place. So now I'll come back and fill in those spaces, just like that. So now I'm gonna take some of my chunky glitter and put it on the inside. Now I'll take some fix out glue, put it around the top. Put the top on. Now I wanna show you one other thing. Okay, there's an opening here where the hook is, and you can actually push your hook in by mistake and lose glitter through this opening. So I'm gonna fill it in with some hot glue. And put it right on the edge, on each side first, and then fill in that middle slot. You could actually put like a small rhinestone right there as well. So now it's filled up. I can do this and not worry about losing any glitter. So that's how that one looks. If you want to, you can add more mirror towels here and even at the bottom, but I didn't want to go overboard. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and go around the top with this mirror towel. So now I'll get them all together and let you see what they look like on display. And I'll show you guys at a later date what it looks like on my Christmas tree. And as promised, here are my five beautiful glam Christmas ornaments. Of course, I'll be making duplicates of each one to put on my Christmas tree, and I will show you that in the very near future. Okay, everyone, this concludes my DIY. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave me a thumbs up. If you have a favorite, please comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Also, if you'd like to see more Christmas ornaments, comment below. Please don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.